Happy New Year, Bull Profits Nation. Welcome to Market Talk Monday on the Paul Mampilla YouTube channel. I'm Amber Lancaster. Thank you for tuning in. Paul is joining us in this video to share his latest market insights to kick off 2022. And then I'll cap this update off with our first good news roundup for 2022. So hello, Paul. Great to see you. Happy New Year. Hi, Amber. Happy New Year to you. Uh, and Alex back there. Alex. Happy New Year. He says Happy New Year. And Alex I've put him to sleep already. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a good way to start the new year. Yes. Did you have a good New Year's, Amber? I did. It was quite lovely with family and just chilled. <laughs> the same for me. And I want to wish all of our Strong Hands Nation Happy New Year to all of you. Hope you all had a great, safe celebration and that you're all ready for what I think is going to be a phenomenal year. Mm. Uh, so tell me when I can get started because I have a few things to share with folks. Of course, well, the floor is yours. So we're all ears. Go right ahead. All, all right. So if you're following me on Twitter, Amber, you'll see that I retweeted a couple of things this morning. I'm usually up 5 30, 6 o'clock doing my survey of things. Um, and I found some amazing tweets uh, that I retweeted. Uh, one from Charles Bailello, and I forget the other one from, one was on the crypto market. And I'm going to start there. Okay. So I believe in 20, I think it was 2013 where this tweet begins. The crypto market is worth a total of 10.3 billion, wow. which is, you know, in the world of assets, Amber, is nothing. Mm -hmm. And at the end of 2021, it was worth over 2.2 trillion. If you had gone back to May or the previous week for Bitcoin, it was actually worth well over $3 trillion. And I want to start there because that's really, for me, an example of where we are going in 2022, mm -hmm. which is that we are entering the new digital gilded age. Mm -hmm. We are entering the new digital gilded age. But yet, the vast majority of the world is fixated on the way that it used to work, based on industrial level thoughts, industrial level thinking, which is way better than what we used to have before it, which is agrarian based, pure human labor based thinking. But the new digital gilded age is going to build wealth at exponential scale, Amber, exponential scale, mm -hmm. exponential scale. What does that mean? Well, chart what the crypto market has done in eight years. That's what exponential means. 10.6 billion, 2.1 trillion. Wow. 10.6 billion, 2.1 trillion 10.6 billion to 2.1 trillion in eight years show me an asset show me a stock show me anything that has grown at that rate in human history there is nothing absolutely nothing and it points very clearly that this is a different time this is something that is quite different than anything that we've had before. And it really proves out what we have been telling our strong hands nation now for several years, which is America two point here is not coming. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here right now. And 2022, I believe, is going to be a takeoff moment where you are really going to see innovation human ingenuity, which is what innovation is, really come to the fore as we come out of this pandemic. Where are we going? And we are going to America 2.0. We are going full speed into the fourth industrial revolution. And that's what I believe is going to unfold in 2022, which is that we are going to see extraordinary amounts of adoption of innovation. It's not the creation of innovation. That work has been done for the last 20 years. These technologies have been put through the ringer. They have been absolutely put through the ringer through a great depression that begins really in the year 2000 for innovation and, and, and for the adoption of technology where we really wanted nothing to do with it. So these companies have survived, they have fought, 
they have struggled and in the process they have proven themselves out proven their technologies proven their worth proven their benefit to human society and now they are ready to be adopted and we've seen some amazing things happen already in 2021 i mean we were talking right before getting on which is that no one at the beginning of the covid pandemic would imagine that we have vaccines all around the world. Mm -hmm. We have three ourselves in the United States. India has several, Russia has several, mm -hmm. China has several. That could be available within one year of us being hit by this pandemic, within one year, unthinkable in the old way, mm -hmm. very possible in the fourth industrial America two-point way of thinking. You may not think about it. However, if you were to map that compared to what we might have experienced even 20 years ago, 50 years ago, it is exponential. The speed at which we are able to experience the benefits of this is exponential. I'll give you another example, Amber. Mm -hmm. And I retweeted this as well. This is of Tesla production. Mm -hmm. Tesla, uh, you know, literally 13 years ago, get started, I think it's 12 years ago, get started, has zero cars. And it, by the end of 2021, they had delivered 936,000 plus cars, almost a million, mm -hmm. which is nearly double what they did in 2020. Mm -hmm. And this is during a period when legacy companies like General Motors and Ford and Volkswagen and others are telling you how they can't find enough chips, they can't produce, mm -hmm. they're having all these problems, and yet Tesla is able to double production in this environment. Put those sales on a chart. In fact, our one of our readers seems to have done exactly that. Mm -hmm. And he tweeted uh, and said, you know, exponential. That's what it looks like. In other words, nobody would have ever imagined that Tesla would be at a run rate I mean, you know, they're recording deliveries, but their production is higher than their deliveries. So they are actually producing over a million cars. It's just that they were unable to get it to people and they record deliveries. That's what is legally recorded. But their production run rate is over a million. Exponential again, exponential. Zero in 2009, a million in 2021. Zero, one million. Zero, one million exponential and we are going to see that in more and more technologies more and more products and services and that is music to the ears of our strong hands nation because what does that mean what does that mean it means that sales are going to rise and keep rising rise again and keep rising rise again and keep rising and keep doing that until some year from now, people will be able to put up hockey stick charts for so many of the things that we are invested in, 3D printing or space or photonics or precision medicine and new energy. All of these, each and every single one of them will have their own hockey stick charts. However, you can't get there unless you're in it. You can't experience it unless you're in it. And 2021, I'm sure, will have shaken out some of you who are weak or stronger hands. Come back in, folks. Come back in. Come back in. Because this is happening. This is happening. Not going to happen. Happening. The growth of the crypto market is telling you this is happening. Mm -hmm. Us having this many vaccines for a virus that did not even exist two or three years ago around the world, not just in the developed nations. We're talking about China, India, Russia. So is telling you that this is happening and that it is global and it is worldwide. The number of Teslas that are being manufactured and delivered. And now that the entire car industry is now finally 10 years later, waking up and saying, oh, we're going to switch everything over is telling you that it's happening. If you are a YouTube person like I am, uh, many of you may not know, but I have not owned a TV since 
1998, <laughs> uh, something like that. I've not, I've been on the internet to get all of my information for in excess of two decades now. So I, I'm very YouTube oriented. And so all of my uh, videos and things like that I get from YouTube. I also mostly don't watch a lot of movies. I might watch one from time to time. Um, so I was watching Lex Friedman talk to Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. And if you want another example of where we are going, and it is coming, it is coming soon, which is that one day you're going to wake up and you're going to see trucks on the road with no one driving it. And you're going to see increasingly cars on the road with no one driving it. Elon, I think, is finally in sort of regular time when he says full self-driving will be here where, in other words, it is better than a human being by the end of next year. And I still haven't gotten my new Model X yet, but it will have full self-driving. And um, he says the number of um, uh, times that people break self-driving is plummeting. Mm -hmm. This is crashing. In other words, people are finding fewer and fewer reasons to intervene, to interrupt full self-driving. And this, I believe, is going to be an example of, again, America 2.0, the fourth industrial revolution happening, happening right now. And I think the ultimate symbol of this is space. I mean, when we see that starship, this Statue of Liberty sized rocket, the biggest rocket ever made by man, designed to go put a lunar colony on the moon to get human beings on Mars. When we see that get into orbit, I think this is the sign for many people. However, by then, I believe that, you know, a lot of stocks will have run. We've had a big crash really again in many of our stocks. Sure, I mean, you know, we had a big run in 2020, but then people have bought into all of these, in my judgment, and remember folks, this channel is opinion, not advice. Mm -hmm. These narratives, these failure narratives around inflation, about lots of ideas about how the world is going to crash. And I believe that this is an incredible time to be alive. Mm -hmm. And I am bullish, I am optimistic, I am positive. Actually, I should repeat that and correct myself. I am very, very bullish. I am very, very optimistic. I am very, very positive. I am nothing but BOP for 2022, Amber. Okay. And so I would tell you, if you have been shaken out, find the courage, find the strength, find the conviction, find the belief, come back in because you give it too long and you're going to be one of these folks that said, I should have, I could have, I would have. The generation, it was an opportunity of a generation, a generational opportunity passed you by. Mm -hmm. That's what I have for 2022, Amber, which is that I am BOP, BOP. And uh, in case, you know, anyone doubts anything and people write me on Twitter, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. Yes, it's been a difficult year in 2021. Prices have come down still. Nothing has changed. I am BOP. Paul, I just love how you are starting off this year and on the right foot and where we need to be focused, which is forward thinking, forward looking. So thank you so much, Paul, for sharing your insights today. Appreciate you so much. Thank you so much, Amber, for having me on. Always a pleasure and an honor and doing an awesome job for our Strong Hands Nation. So thank you. Oh, you're most welcome. See you soon, Paul. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you again to Paul for joining us in this edition of Market Talk Monday. But before I sign off, I want you to please check out these three good news headlines to start your week off with a bang. Uh, number one, just as Paul just mentioned, also I uh, posted a tweet this morning about Tesla's, what we are calling jaw-dropping fourth quarter 2021 deliveries. Uh, the EV maker smashed its quarterly delivery record. Uh, Tesla delivered 308,000 plus vehicles globally, surpassing its previous record. Uh, total sales for 2021 are now more than 936 6,087% increase over 2020. We are hashtag BOP on Tesla. So stay BOP on Tesla in 2022. 
Um, number two, the 2022 Consumer Electronics Show, aka CES 2022, the most influential technology event in the world, kicks off this week in Las Vegas, running from January 5th through the 8th. Over 2,200 exhibitors are confirmed to be there. Uh, the in-person, digitally attended hybrid event will showcase the latest tech innovations meant to, quote, make a better world and solve some of the biggest problems in health, energy, mobility, the environment, and more. And as a past registered uh, attendee of CES, I'm receiving all the tech break breakthroughs right in my email inbox. So I'll report in, on the actual top tech innovations in my next Bull Profits Daily article, publishing this Wednesday, January 5th. Uh, to sign up for our free Bold Profits Daily e-letter, uh, simply visit boldprofitsdaily.com. At boldprofitsdaily.com, you'll find um, actually where you'll receive very innovative stock investing articles, videos, and engaging content content with an America 2.0 focus from the entire Bull Profits team about six days per week throughout the year. And finally, number three of this Bloomberg chart shows that Bitcoin is setting up for a breakout. Uh, the latest pennant breakout for Bitcoin signals a further climb ahead. Uh, this chart shows how Bitcoin has recently breached the upper bound of a pennant technical pattern. Uh, this pattern tends to signal higher prices ahead. Uh, this type of chart underpins our long-term bullish stance on Bitcoin's price. Our very own Ian Dyer, editor of Crypto Flash Trader Trading Service, is predicting a $350,000 price target on Bitcoin as this a what one Bitcoin could buy retweet from Paul um, demonstrates. Uh, 10 years ago, when Bitcoin could buy a Big Mac Five years ago, one Bitcoin could buy an iPhone. Today, one Bitcoin can buy a Tesla. So with that, I have a question for you, Bull Profits Nation. In the next five years, what do you think one Bitcoin can buy? Maybe a house? You never know. Uh, please let me know in the comments below for this video. Love to see your responses. Now, if you're interested in investing in the cryptocurrency market and want to learn more, uh, please click the strong hands icon over my shoulder right here to check out Ian Dyer's Crypto Flash Trader trading service. As we see it, there's no better time than now to be invested in cryptocurrencies. So that concludes this week's Market Talk. Thank you for watching. Uh, please remember to subscribe and like this YouTube channel as it supports the channel. Wishing you a very healthy and successful 2022 ahead, Strong Hands Nation. Thank you for watching. Have a great week ahead. And until next time, take care.